Welcome to the Eastern Balkan range in Bulgaria. As you can see, the conditions are pretty amazing. Uh, I've got a choice of hides here to use, which I'll be talking a little about. <coughs> I've got snow in my mouth. Um, I'll be talking a little bit about in the video. Uh, the first, time I'm gonna, first hide I'm going to use is this little tower hide, and I'm hoping to get middle spotted woodpecker in particular, and hawfinch as well. Uh, might get some other woodpeckers. We'll just see how it goes. Got in the hide, there's already jays. There's two big fat jays and a great spotted woodpecker as well. Um, I've only just literally got in the hide. Got a jay now on the log feeding. Absolutely perfect. Ton of great tits and some blue tits, great spotted woodpecker, two jays that um, have just gone, but I'm sure they'll be back. And um, a goldfinch briefly. And the conditions are amazing because it's not just snow, it's um, there's a bit of a wind as well, so it's blowing the snow, so it's like a little, I suppose, mini blizzard, and it's just fantastic for images. Uh, it just looks so atmospheric. Looking out here is kind of looking towards. Um, well, towards trees, a bit of woodland, so when you get snow it kind of diffuses everything so much it just softens everything and it kind of all blends in together um, that white snow kind of mixes in with the trees and the other colours and it tends to give like a really nice soft neutral backdrop you don't get too many distractions um, uh, it would be different if the sun was out but it's so overcast it's just perfect background I don't know if you noticed, there's like an annoying hum in the background, which I had in the last video as well, and it's driving me mad. Um, something to do with the microphone. So I've gone back to the old microphone I used to use for now, which is um, on top of the camera, because the sound just seems cleaner. We're getting a lot of great tits coming, and they're often being sort of quite aggressive, so we're getting like two, three, four, five. And uh, when they come together, there's often quite a bit of aggression between those great tits. <laughs> I did have a goldfinch as well. Oh, what pecker! Woodpeckers can be really difficult. They move their heads so much when they're feeding, they're just constantly moving their heads. Um, not just actually feeding, but they tend to, I find they move their heads around a lot. Um, so it can be difficult to get a sharp picture, and I've got a few as well where even the it's been blinking, so you've got like the eyelid. Uh, I find that quite common, probably more with woodpeckers. So you just have to keep taking lots of shots. But no sign of middle spotted. I've got two, two great spotted woodpeckers. One just flew over the hide, and one's on uh, one of the perches. <laughs> The goldfinches are just super aggressive. Um, woodpecker's back again. They're just really, really aggressive. I don't know why it's very strange, but when they come on, they're just really, really aggressive to the great tits and the blue tits and, and to each other, actually. Um, but yeah, right, this goldfinch is an absolute psychopath. There's just no doubt about it. It's a nutcase. It's incredible to watch this goldfinch. It's just absolutely psychotic. And it gets on the end of the log feeding. Any bird that comes near it, blue tit, great tit, another goldfinch, it's just going absolutely mental, it just will not have it. It will not have them anywhere near it. So I'm trying to get some shots of this aggressive behaviour of this insane goldfinch. So 
So I think what I'm going to do now, because I've got some really nice images and they're just very simple, you know, very clean. Uh, the snow looks fantastic. Got Jay, got great spotted woodpecker, obviously the little great tits, and I think I've got a reasonable goldfinch. So what I'm going to do now is to just uh, play around with the shutter speed a bit because I've used a faster shutter speed just to stop the movement of the small birds. But with the snow, I can obviously play around with that. So I'm going to try and use a slower shutter speed to slow the snow down, to blur it more, just to change the images a bit. Finch up in the tree. I'm just waiting for it to come down. It's on the branch above the food. I'm just waiting for it to come down. I've got Hawfinch, an absolutely stunning male Hawfinch. He is amazing. Um, I've just got some shots. I'm still on the slow shutter speed. That's fine. A hundredth of a second, I think it is. He's just the plumage on that bird is absolutely phenomenal, and they're quite big as well. You know, they're, they're substantially bigger. Um, than a lot of small birds like your tits, so quite a hefty bird. Another thing to bear in mind with the snow as well is that it can kind of obscure your subject. So if it's just falling kind of gently it's not so bad, but if you've got more wind it's more of a problem. You can end up with snowflakes in front of the bird and in front of the face and in front of the eye. So if you take a few shots, uh, you can't guarantee that you've got a nice clean image with nothing in the way. So you wanna check, if you take a series of shots, try and check, as you'd be amazed how often you've got a snowflake that's right in front of the eye and it just, everything else is perfect, but it just destroys the picture. So or when you've got time, or try and review, just make sure that you've got like, um, you know, a nice clean shot with nothing obstructing. I have just put the 1.4 extender onto this lens, this 400mm f5.6 lens. Now, I don't think it's fantastic, I don't do this very often, I don't think it's fantastic, uh, the extender on this lens, however, I don't have much choice just because I'm travelling in light, which is why I've got this lens, and I just want to get, I want to fill the frame a bit more, particularly for the smaller birds, I want to blur the background a bit more now, so I've put the extender on. Um, one of the things I try and do, I try and keep the ISO lower, just to keep the image quality higher, once I've put the extender on, I try and keep the ISO lower if I can. So I try not, I'm trying to not to push it sort of above 800-ish at the moment. Oh my God, the most amazing Hawfinch picture. That just posed. That was. Just the most incredible pose, absolutely perfect. I've got the extender on, that looks gorgeous. This is actually the hide for Golden Oriole as well. So in the summer, this is one of the best hides for photographing Golden Oriole. It's raised up and it's looking out kind of along this hedge line and looking towards this mulberry tree where they do feed in the summertime. So I'm really looking forward to that. I left the hide, went back inside and then realized I'd left the vlogging camera in. So I had to come back and pick it up. Right, okay, um, yeah, brilliant, a little bit cold, uh, hawfinch was amazing, how oh, beautiful was that hawfinch, great spotted woodpeckers performing just all the time, a uh, couple of fantastic jays, great tits, blue tits and a completely insane psychotic goldfinch. If you've enjoyed this video, this vlog and the wildlife and the snow then do subscribe to my channel and check out the wildlife photography videos and whatnot. Okay, I'm going for a cup of tea. See you next time.